My buddy got 100% VA disability in six months. Why don't I have that? Let's talk about this. On a routine basis, every couple of weeks, if not more often, I get, I get a client or veteran calling me saying, Andy, my buddy got this, got 100% VA disability inside of six months. Why, why did the VA only give me 20%? Why did the VA do this? Why did the VA do that? It's a very frustrating question to get. I just, I get it a lot and I, I hate to answer it because I, I just hate the answer that I have to give. And, and there are a couple reasons why your buddy got this great rating and you're not where you need to be or want to be quite yet. So let's talk about why this may be. First reason might just be the evidence. Your buddy, when he applied or she applied, there might have been a ton of service treatment records, service medical records, post-service records from the VA, or even from a private hospital that they sent to the, you know, the records of which they sent to the VA, buddy letters, et cetera, and that might all be in there already and everything was crystal clear. The CMP examiner saw it for what it was, even they couldn't screw it up and it got to the VA and they read the file thoroughly and they, everything's perfect and they nailed the rating on the first try. I have two clients who right around the same time we filed for Agent Orange related conditions and it was very similar conditions they had. First veteran, not just did he get a 100% rating inside of six months, he also got a very high level of SMC and the VA just got it right the first time through. The examiners got it right, everyone got it right, the veteran's getting this disability payment. It's it's exactly what needed to happen, spot on. I didn't have to do anything after the fact at all, and it was a new claim, so as a credit attorney, I couldn't even charge for it. I was doing it um, a little bit of my pro bono practice, which I don't do that often, but I was helping out this Vietnam veteran who was in dire straits, and they got there, and it was it was great. Six months, made me, made me look awesome, but I didn't really do all that much. We just lined up the evidence and the VA got it. The next case though, we did the exact same thing and some CMP examiner just checked the wrong block. Now we've been spinning our wheels for months trying to get this sorted out because the VA employees are refusing to go and look at the actual records and realize the block check is incorrect, realize it was a deficient exam and just correct the issue. And we've had multiple decisions already where they're just not getting it and it's crystal clear in front of them but the errors just keep compounding. We'll get there, we'll fix this for sure. I know we will, but it's frustrating and we have to be persistent in this process. The evidence is there, we can usually get what we want, but that's not always it. Maybe in your case, the evidence wasn't there. Maybe the VA was only able to find a couple pages of service records. Maybe there are no medical records for the last 30 or 40 years. And I've seen that happen where a veteran comes to me who served in the 80s and there's maybe 10 or 15 pages of service records or medical records, and there's no medical records prior to 2020. That's gonna take a lot of work and probably several rounds of appeals to get the VA to properly assess that. Um, so, you know, we can probably get there in some of those cases as well, but it's a lot more challenging. So again, the first reason your case may be taking longer is you might not have the evidence. As I said in my example of the Vietnam veteran, you might have the evidence, right? The evidence might be there, and the second reason is just inconsistency. The VA is horribly inconsistent. I call some doctors, doctors, doctor no, and that's just who they happen to get up with a CMP exam with. And then there's another doctor who's like, yeah, spot on, everything's spot on, sleep apnea, granted, whatever. It just depends on the individual CMP examiner you get. It depends on the individual RVSR you get, whether or not they're gonna review the file closely or whether they're just gonna move the file from one side of their desk to the other. It just depends. And there's huge variety, not just in CNP examiners, but also in the VA employees themselves who are doing the work on the files, and even the decision review officers. Some decision review officers will spend hours trying to figure out every single possible point they can get for you, and others, not so much. So again, huge inconsistency. And that's a really disappointing answer to have to give to veterans saying, listen, I know your body got 100%. I know you've got all the evidence. The VA just isn't considering it right because they just can't figure out how to assess it because the employees who are handling this can't figure out how to read. Uh, the, the next reason is we don't know. We just don't know. And I say this because there are some cases that just languish in what's called the national work queue for months. No one knows why they languish there. I have spoken to high senior level VA employees and no one can seem to 
tell me a good reason as to why an action on a claim is, you know, claims has been sitting in the system for four months and nothing's happened. It's very frustrating, but sometimes that's just the case. Sometimes the file just sits around. So why am I telling you this? Number one, stop comparing yourselves to your friends. Your mm. case is different than their case. Their case is different from the next person's case and so on. Not just in the evidence that's actually in the file, but also in who at the VA is processing it. That's really all there is to it. There's such a variety of what's happening at the VA that sometimes, even with all the evidence, it's just not set up correctly and you get a bad decision. That's where I come in to appeal these things. So with that in mind, don't worry about it. This is a game of persistence and a game of knowing what you're entitled to, filing the right claims, and just keeping at it. Again, persistence. Now, if you've been denied or lowballed on your rating and the evidence is there, or maybe you didn't know what evidence you needed to submit and you've received a rating decision relatively recently, give us a call. We can actually take a look at it if the rating decision is relatively recent, because keep in mind, you only have one year to appeal an adverse decision with either a supplemental claim, higher level review, or appeal to the Board of Veterans Appeals in order to maintain that effective date. Bottom line, stop comparing yourselves to others. You're not in the same boat as others, might be similar. If you don't like what the VA is giving you, you think you're entitled to more, keep at it. Go to a qualified VSO, qualified veterans, uh, uh, accredited attorney, accredited agent, see what we can do for you. Till next time, take care.